from a snake that can only be found on a small island in the Caribbean to a pit viper that can only be found in a small area of Baja, California. Here are the rarest snakes on Earth. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. The Black Mamba The Black Mamba are known for their ferocity and highly aggressive nature when threatened. They are also Africa's longest venomous snake and can reach up to 14 feet in length while weighing only 3.5 pounds. They have been blamed for killing many people in Africa and this guy is considered by many to be the most feared and deadly snake in the world. They get their nickname not from the color of their scales but from the inside of their mouth. The black mamba will strike repeatedly with multiple bites, administering a large amount of venom in the process. Before an anti-venom was created for these beasts, a bite would be 100% fatal with only 20 minutes to live. The Round Island Viper There are many different levels of how rare an animal can be, but if it gets listed as endangered, there's likely a good chance you won't get the chance to see it in the near future. That is, of course, unless you live in a very specific area or you can go see it at a zoo. And even then, it might be difficult. The Round Island Viper lives on the Round Island of Meridius, which isn't really on most people's bucket lists. In 1996, the population of this snake was as low as 250 individuals, but most likely has reached about 1,000 thanks to conservation efforts. The Eyelash Bush Viper This species of viper is currently listed as vulnerable, which means that it could become endangered if someone doesn't do something about it soon. It lives in only two remote areas of Tanzania, and due to its dwindling territory, it's believed that their numbers are on the decline. They're most often found in bushes near the Uluguru Mountains. It's unclear exactly how many are left, but if you take a close look at its eyes, it does appear to have some kind of eyelash going on. This actually isn't too common for most snakes. The Apodora The Apodora is a non-venomous species of snake found in Papua New Guinea. These are large constrictor snakes, meaning that instead of using venom like a rattlesnake or a cobra, they'll just strangle their prey until it becomes unconscious or expires. These snakes can measure about 4.5 meters or 14 feet long. They're not usually for sale on the black market, but when they are, they'll usually sell for a pretty high price. But it's definitely something you don't want to keep in your home. It weighs no more than 22 kilograms or 50 pounds. These snakes do have the capability to change colors and can supposedly change colors when angered. They prefer feasting on smaller animals during nighttime. These large reptiles are on high demand to be traded on the legal pet market. They would bring in a huge price if captured, but if the snake gets out of its cage, it could wreak havoc on the entire area. Wagner's Viper There seems to be a decent amount of vipers who make their way onto the list of the rarest snakes. One of them is a Wagner's Viper, which gets its name from the German explorer called Moritz Wagner. This viper is native to eastern Turkey and lives in a small area close to the Black Sea. They can grow to be a maximum size of 37 inches and their weight can vary depending on the last time they ate. Currently, this species of viper is considered to be critically endangered and there's only an estimation of 2,500 left. Some claim the dwindling numbers are actually due to the fact that they're receiving a high price on the black market. Why some people would want to own this thing is beyond me considering how dangerous they can be. Some zoos are also doing their best to breed more vipers and keep them from going extinct. The Santa Catalina Rattlesnake this venomous species of pit viper is native to the Gulf of California on the east side of Baja, California. And contrary to their name, they actually don't have a rattle and are most notable for their small and slender characteristics. They can still grow a maximum of 28 inches and are still pretty skinny for their length. The Santa Catalina rattlesnake is currently classified as critically endangered and are at a high risk of becoming extinct if certain measures weren't taken. One indicator that their numbers are dwindling is their geographic range, which is less than 50 square miles. Some believe the reason for the population decline is from feral cats who live in the area and who will instinctively hunt the snakes. It also doesn't seem to help them due to the fact that they do not hide very well, which can make them susceptible to predators. The Aruba Island Rattlesnake This critically endangered pit viper is only found on the Caribbean island of Aruba, which is located off the coast of Venezuela. Some estimates would suggest that only 230 adult Aruba Island rattlesnakes are alive in the wild. Capable of growing about 90 centimeters or about 35 inches, they're restricted to only about 15 square miles, which is bound to decrease in the upcoming years. Considered to be extremely venomous to humans, you probably still don't want to go camping in their zone. What's also quite unique about this snake is the remarkable pink color that it gives off, which probably is a warning to predators. The snake also lacks support from the government as there is little regulation regarding the environment of where they live. Garter Snakes There are four different types of garter snakes that are endangered, with the majority of the numbers dwindling in the country of Somalia. 
it could partially be due to their strange mating ritual and high male to female ratio. Incredible numbers of snakes chase after one female, or queen of the ball you could say. The female releases a pheromone when she's ready to mate, and snakes from all over the forest come to see her. Hundreds of snakes get piled up on top of each other and create a mind-boggling image that you probably want to forget. It's definitely somewhere you don't want to be if you're afraid of snakes. If you ladies thought you had a bat at a nightclub, you got nothing on the female garter snake. Garter snakes might also be decreasing due to some of their environments changing from human activity as parts of Africa continue to urbanize. The Gaboon Viper The Gaboon Viper is the largest species of viper and is a venomous snake found in sub-Saharan Africa. It also has the biggest fangs of any snake and just a bite without even any venom would seemingly be fatal with its 2 inch fangs. Some snakes really don't need to do much to kill their prey. A Gaboon Viper from West Africa is also the heaviest venomous snake in Africa. The Viper blends in well with its environment and can go hours without flinching. They normally measure about 6 feet long with an empty stomach and weigh about 19 pounds, but this size varies for different specimens. The larger specimens have been known to weigh about 44 pounds or about 20 kilograms. That would technically make it the heaviest venomous snake, but these claims have not been verified. The horns on the head also add to their devilish appearance. Dark Spotted Anaconda Although anacondas aren't typically considered to be endangered by any means, this is one of the rare species of anacondas. This ravenous reptile is native to northeastern South America and prefers living in freshwater lakes. They tend to be found in countries like Brazil, Guiana, and French Guiana. The first of this species that was discovered was originally sent to the Philadelphia Zoo. Being a part of the anaconda family, you can only tell that this thing is going to be huge. It measures in about 10 feet long, but weighs a mass of 66 pounds. You don't want to go in the water if you see this thing swimming around. It'd probably be a good idea to stay out. They're also known to be excellent swimmers, and their bodies have adapted to swim more efficiently. The eyes and nostrils are positioned higher on the head, giving them the ability to see and breathe better while swimming. The Two-Headed California King Snake what could strike more fear into your heart than an actual two-headed snake? Such a snake might make you think of the Hydra, which was a creature with multiple heads that got into a fight with Hercules. Luckily, the California king snake isn't venomous and it's one of the more common snakes to keep as a pet. They are active hunters during both day and night and are most commonly found in states such as Oregon, Nevada, California, Utah, Arizona, and Colorado. It is, however, quite uncommon to find one that has two heads and is still alive for that matter. You have to kind of wonder what it would look like if it was eating a mouse and if they can communicate with each other. The Antiguan Racer Another rare snake from the Caribbean, the Antiguan Racer is only found on the Great Burn Island of Antigua and is still among the rarest snakes in the world. Conservation experts had estimated that only 50 were left at one point in time, but that number might be on the increase. Before Europeans had arrived, their island had a large population and were relatively nonviolent to settlers. The thick forest covered the island, which was great for snakes to slither around and eat whatever they wanted. As the island became more colonized, rats began to show up and would eat their eggs and also the stuff that snakes like to eat. Eventually, to get rid of the rats, settlers also brought in mongoose to rid themselves of the rats. The main problem though is that they also ate the snakes. The rats were also mainly nocturnal and the Asian mongoose typically hunts during the day. Eventually, the rats and the mongoose problem were taken care of, and the population of the Antiguan racer has gone up about a thousand now. The Blue Viper You can certainly look at this big blue viper, but don't even think about touching it. Its venom is something you don't want to mess with. Blue snakes are particularly rare, but also sometimes found on the island of Bali. Other blue vipers might be found on Komodo Island, a place that's infamous for dangerous reptiles. Other snakes that might get a beautiful shade of blue are some tree snakes. Hopefully the snake doesn't get a hold of you, or you might be the one that turns blue. The Venomous Hairy Bush Viper Despite its hairy look, the Venomous Bush Viper actually just has extremely keel dorsal scales which give it that unique look. In case you don't feel comfortable calling it by its most well-known name, it also goes by Rough Scale Bush Viper, Rough Scale Tree Viper, or the Hairy Viper. It's also known in about four different countries in Africa, including the DR, the Congo, southwestern Uganda, Kenya, and also northwestern Tanzania. Despite being pretty rare, it's able to live in pretty remote areas and isolated rainforests where most humans wouldn't dare go. It's notable for its distinct snout and its large eyes. There's also a lot that scientists don't know about this species' venom, which is likely going to be fatal without some serious medical attention. Since humans don't get bit too often by this thing, the chances of having an anti-venom for it is rather slim. 
Whoa, now that was a cool video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.